Hello there everybody, my name is Waddles, welcome back to the Minecraft LP series. What's going on? How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, today is the beginning of a really big project that I have been meaning to do. Last episode we went and got cats, or, or I should say cat, we went and got cat and parrots i killed or or the parrots died basically i didn't kill them but three of the parrots died that we got so we have two left um i have not gone and recovered that yet or gotten any more cats but today project time big project time that might span over the next few episodes we still do have to finish this sheep farm but i was thinking um what kind of farm have i never made that would be really really cool to make and I think a witch farm would be really cool. I think we should try to make a witch farm in this world somewhere. Um, like I said, I've never made one, and I don't really know how to make one. So we're going to try and experiment and see if I can come up with my own design. I think I have an idea uh, of how to do that. Um, but we'll get glowstone from the farm, so right behind me glowstone, and then we'll get redstone from the farm, which would be really nice to have an... An abundance of glowstone, really. Uh, we don't have very much, and I don't like to run around the nether and farm it all. So, first I need to explore. I know there is a witch farm in the swamp that we are living in. But I don't want to use that witch farm, because I'm going to have to clear a lot of land around it. And that might get really close to our build, so I don't want to mess with that. What I think we should do is go get the horse. Uh, that bounced off the gas. Um, what we should do is go get our horse. Aha! Frank, I haven't used you in quite some time. You've been standing still in the horse pen for a long time, so you must be pretty tired. Uh, but uh, that is actually quite mean of me, now that I think about it. But what we want to do is explore swamps. We want to run around our world and look at swamps and see where witch huts are. I know there's one, like I said, in the swamp over there, but that's kind of close to everything. I don't want to have to dig out all of the land near here, so I'd rather go find somewhere else that's relatively close and use that. Um, I probably marked which farms down somewhere, like in a folder or a screenshot or something, but I th think we'll just march around and see what we can find. I know of a few swamps near here, so we'll check all of those first, I think. Um, starting with the one right on the other side of this forest here. Now, I don't think there's a witch hut in this one. I don't remember seeing one over here, but I mean, it's worth a shot, of course. But I really don't remember one, and it, it wouldn't really be ideal to use one in here either, because this would really overlap with the AFK zone. Um, what you want to do when you make these things is get rid of all of the land around them to increase spawning rates. We want really good rates on this thing so I can, you know, of course, get a lot of glowstone. Um, so we need to find somewhere kind of far from everything, but not too far. So while I'm looking for the next swamp here, uh, I've got a question for you. What do you think about the music I put at the beginning of the Let's Play episodes. I've done it on the past few episodes. Do you like the music there, or would you prefer it just be my voice? What do you think? Honestly, let me know down below if you like it. Um, I kind of like it. I think it eases the episode in a little bit. I think it's a nice little touch, but of course, um, that's what I would think if I'm putting it there, you know. Uh, I just want to know what you think. And also, if you have not heard yet, by chance, I have a Twitch, and I've been using that to stream a lot. So make sure you go check that out as well. I threw that link in the description. It should be near the top of the description for you. Go over there, give me a follow, and check out my streams. They're really fun. Aha! Uh -huh. I have the perfect witch hut right there in front of me. So look at all of this ocean. We don't have to worry about any land removal over there. It's all going to be on this side. Now, as you can see, I'm still on my map. Um, my cursor on the map is pointing towards the storage, and then in the top left corner is where the swamp is. So it's, you know, kind of far, but it's not as far as it could really be. Um, I haven't really seen any of this land over here. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of clearing in this thing. 
um, that needs to be done. I need to go 250 blocks out in a circle from the witch hut. So from right here about, I need to go 250 all the way out and cut down forests and clear it all out. Now, this is going to be a long project. I'm not going to do this like right now. I I'm not going to do it all right now. You're not about to see a cut with me going and cutting down all of this forest. Um, I'm going to try and do that gradually over time. Now, what we want to do probably to start this project off is set up a little base camp. So, of course, I forgot to bring obsidian. But for now, a temporary base camp is going to be really nice to have. So, what we want to bring here is a bed, a portal, and some chests because... I'm going to get a lot of stuff from cutting everything down. So I have to run all the way back to the storage now and come back to here with um with some supplies. Um did these donkeys literally just grow up? They were just babies 1 second ago. Uh that's kind of cool. We're going to have to probably keep the donkeys over here. That'll be good for moving stuff back later. Okay, so what do we need? We need obsidian for a portal. It's really not that far, but we're going to need at least 20 so I can make one in the nether and make one in the overworld. Then we need wood for the um, the chest, so we'll take about half a stack. Then, um, yeah, I think that's going to be mostly it for now. We might want to take a little bit of extra coal with us to light up some area um but we have a bed we have wood we have maybe some cobblestone we might as well bring some cobblestone um but it's time to swing back on over there oh wait do i have a flint and steel um i definitely need one of those so where's flint uh i'm still learning all of this here it is uh but there we go now we have everything we need time to swing on back over there so first things first, a portal. We need the portal in the nether and in the overworld. It did not link, so 63 to 21 is where I need to go now. Um, 221 is... which way? This way. Uh, 221 is this way, okay. And then 63, I'm going to have to go way back that way. Okay, the tunnel comes out by the storage building and then goes down over here and then goes this way. This would be a thing that I would totally link up to a rail tunnel system because this is possibly, if it works out, going to be somewhere that I come a lot for things. So that'll need its own tunnel eventually. It's really not that far from everything, um, but that uh, that works pretty well now. We need a crafting table and then a chest. And what I want to do is then go look around and mark what is 250 blocks. So I kind of know, you know, for reference, how far do I have to really go? So let's get the coordinates of this. Um, I suppose roughly uh, we'll do 516. 1,788, so on this direction, uh, 1,788, we need to go down to like 1,520-ish, approximately, so let's go all the way over there and then make a really tall pillar, um, that should work. So in the Z, we have to go all the way pretty much to this lake. I don't need to make a pillar. That's a really natural, easy marker. So I have to go back down the Z and then go over to 250 on the X because we have to make a big circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a circle of some shape. Um, now, I'm probably going to have to use a lot of TNT or... Or fix up my mending shovel, you know, a bunch of times. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. Thankfully, I have mending. Um, but I I honestly think if I was going to go the digging route, I would need to, to get a beacon. Because this is a whole bunch of land. I don't think there's any way I could just sit and dig all of this out. That's going to be crazy. 
Um, but I want to eliminate it instead of light it up. I think it'll look better if we just have a bunch of water, really shallow water around this thing instead of, you know, a bunch of land that's all lit up because sometimes I'll miss an area and I'll get a bunch of spawns. Uh, but then sadly, I will have to cave too. I'm going to have to cave everything underneath the the ground too so this will be a long gradual process for sure but i wanted to kickstart this today um this is gonna be nice this is gonna go into this lake somewhere so i don't really need to mark this one either we have two bodies of water on either side that we need to link up uh do i have my map um okay yeah yeah that's a good kind of reference thing two bodies of water the other side um so i guess going below it uh, it looks like it's going to be a plains, and then the other side is an ocean. So we, we don't have to worry about one side, which is nice. Now, swinging back over to the swamp, the next project that I would like to tackle today is continuing work on the sheep farm. Uh, this thing is nearing completion, and I'd like to take a stab at doing a roof on this thing. Now, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go about doing this, but like I said, I want birch slabs i think birch slabs would be the best way to do this um so i guess i should make you know a bunch of slabs then i know i want light to come in here so i would think that that would mean i would like the roof to start up there i think and then i would just kind of overhang it like that uh, so I could put glass there if I wanted to um, because it would look weird if I left it like this I think I'd definitely have to add stuff in but then I think I want to just gradually increase this thing going up um, and then maybe we could even put some of the land over it I saw some awesome comments about that that might look really cool I just have to see what I can do with it so Maybe I do one small section first, just to see, because the roof definitely needs to reach over all of the pens. I don't want it to at least not reach over all of that. So yeah, I think I should try this out a little bit first. Um... <laughs> okay, then I wonder if there's like a... Some kind of block issue there. That's really weird. Um... I can't even do that. And it's just taking the blocks away from me, too. It's not actually giving them back to me. Can I put a flower? Nope. Uh, hmm. <laughs> okay, I reloaded the whole world, and it's still happening. I don't know what I can do about those, or these few blocks in this area. Um, I've never seen that before. Have any of you ever seen this thing? I mean... That's really weird. We're going to have to skip that for now. Uh, I hope I can solve that later. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm going to put in one whole corner here and see what I think. Hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it looks good. Um, I need to do something over the front. Maybe I could go up one more time. But yeah, I think that looks really good. It doesn't really cover any of that part but maybe i don't want that covered it would show up quite cool on a map the whole rainbow so maybe we want to just have it end where it ends and just cover the sheep and do this all along the sides and then maybe do like um just a glass top like a flat clear glass top or even we could do rainbow correlating with you know what it would be right above i like this this roof design so far though so i think that will become the proper roof all the way around the farm i think that looks good i need to add more detail and i need to add a way to do lighting on the top so maybe that's where end rods could come in or something like that but i think it's time that i just go and finish throwing in this part of the build and then we'll stop there for the day I've created a giant spawning platform is what I've realized. I need to light this up. Uh, it's really bad. I've gotten creeper bombed like three or four times now. I haven't died because of my armor, but I cannot say the same thing about the sheep in the, in the farms. Uh, they were meant to be safe for their whole life, and 
it seems I lied to him. Uh, but I had to go and light up all of the pens as well with the pumpkins. Really kind of ugly. But I needed to because things were spawning in there. I guess I have the caves pretty well lit up around here. And I would walk away and come back and 9 out of 10 times there would be somebody waiting in one of these pens that wasn't meant to be. And I'm not talking about the cow over there. So basically the build is coming along i have a good idea maybe i shouldn't say it's a good idea until i try it but i think we could do that in some of the pillars or maybe even all of the pillars to make it look a little fancier um adding some detail you know and then across the top definitely glass uh i have realized that you know with this being a big spawning platform on the roof i definitely want to put glass in the top so things can't fall in so it's just a matter of a rainbow or clear so let me know what you think down in the comments do you want to see just clear glass all the way across the top or one specific color or would you like to see uh the rainbow go towards the middle so it would be like this but go all the way to the middle and then we'd have a green and then a green and a cyan and then blue blue you know like that uh let me know what you think down in the comments below and i think that's everything that we need to nail and get done today so I've thought about this area, and I think this would be nice to have, like, a wheat field over here, probably, uh, to supply the sheep. Um, then a path goes here, right, in the future. And then over here, uh, probably a horse stable and a sorting thing for the wool. That might be kind of nice. Um, but that's all my plans over here. We will have to build a pet house somewhere. And then off camera, I'm going to start work on the witch's hut. That needs to start some, like, progress. I'm going to try and start digging out land slowly but surely. So wish me luck there. One last thing is I've started a Subnautica playthrough series, Let's Play series. So make sure you check that out. It's really similar to Minecraft and the idea that you build bases and all that kind of stuff. So check that out if you're interested and go have a good day. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One final thing. Um, blocks still don't place in in there. So what I want to try and do is push a block into it. Um, so I guess from here. And see if that'll work with a piston. Because I don't know how to fix it. I've relogged and reloaded and everything. And nothing. Huh. Okay. Did I just... I fixed these two. Um, let's do it again. Um, this is really weird. Um, will this fix our broken block? Huh. Can I put a... Uh, yeah, I fixed it. Okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.